There is new cutting edge research happening right now at CU Boulder on the effects of driving while high on pot. The Now's Russell Haythorn shows us how the university is hitting the road to skirt federal laws. On the move. Lab assistant Taylor Armstrong is hitting the road with one of CU Boulder's newest research toys, a mobile marijuana van. You could call it the Canavan. It's the brainchild of scientists like Cinnamon Bidwell, who saw a void in what we know about the effects of pot on driving motor skills and memory. It really struck me how little we actually knew. Here's how it works. The van goes to the homes of marijuana users both medical and recreational, and then test subjects oh, sure. while they're yeah, sober. Sure. Participants okay. start by taking a breathalyzer because if they're using alcohol at the same time, it can skew the results. Breathe into this mouthpiece. Okay, so it's all zero, so we can run today's appointment. The researchers wait in the van as the subjects go back in their home and toke up or take an edible. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. The participants come back out to the van and then they're tested again. When they return to the van, we're looking at questions of how intoxicated they are. Pumpkin. Tests include memory function. Salmon. Nutmeg. Salmon. Toothbrush. Motor skills. All right, so we're all done with that trial. Even a blood draw. So there will be three blood draws today. The van is a way to get around federal law. Unlike alcohol, which researchers can purchase and study in labs, marijuana is still illegal under federal law. So researchers can't have it in their labs. They can't even touch it. If we could just work around the regulations and figure out a way to study it. Participants get paid about $150. There's no shortage of people. Cutting edge research allowing the bright minds at CU to study high potency legal weed. And I think what we're doing is people want to make informed decisions. In Boulder, Russell Haythorn for the Now Denver.